JFG Moment says, Jeff, would you join Cozy TV if it was offered to you? I would take the offer from Cozy TV, I would roll it, and I would put it up my ass, and I would then shit it along with my shit. That's what I would do with a Cozy TV offer. I'm not interested in this teenager platform. Uh, they can have fun there. I'm not going to stop them from existing. Uh, but I have zero interest. <laughs> JF Moment says bold. <laughs> well, to be clear, I'm not gonna physically do it. So don't don't try to send me an offer just for the fun of seeing me do it. Uh, no, I am not interested in Cozy because I am only working on open platforms. When I was born as a YouTuber, I was born on open platforms. And I don't care if it means having somewhat smaller audiences. I don't care. But I will always be rooting and working for the success of... Um, of um, open platforms because the next big thinker, the next big YouTuber or the next big Odyssey, <coughs> I don't want them to have to send an email to a bunch of merchants, you know, uh, operating a private platform and have to beg for their existence in this world. To me, it's very important. The platforms are opened, which leads to young talent being able to rise. It's not even about me. It's about the future talents. Are they stuck with an obstacle as they enter the world of streaming, or can they go freely as they wish? I want them to be able to go freely as they wish. <coughs> <coughs> I also want to have open competition. I want my show to be competing with the new youth rising and being able to do exactly the same thing as me with exactly as much obstacles as I have. I don't want private back of the scene arrangements and cozy TV is all this. I, if I'm unknown, if I'm unknown, can I be on Cozy TV? No, I can't. You have to be somewhat known so that they will start a channel for you. And I'm not interested in this. Although I might qualify, I, my competitors might not qualify. And I believe in the open internet, low barrier of entry, anyone can be a celeb if they have the brains to do it, if they have the original ideas and the creativity, I want them to be, the very day they decide to do it, I want them to be a competitor of me already. That's how I see, because Cozy TV will, be, will have the problems that closed platforms have, which is that they will, they will accumulate corruption. Not corruption in the sense of political corruption, but creativity corruption. There will be an accumulating process of ways of thinking, ways of operating, ways of producing, <clears throat> that because it won't be challenged by the upcoming rising stars, it, it will get old and get cringier with time. And eventually, everyone on this platform will be kind of can, they will feel passé, <laughs> as, as you guys say in, in English. They will feel very passé, very 2016. And Cozy TV will have a problem at attracting new talent when that happens, because their platforms, their name, everything that made their success, which was saving people from censorship, basically, will eventually turn against them and it will paralyze <clears throat> just like banned video. If you go on banned video, you see you see people streaming like they would in a long time ago and it gets less relevant and it, it kind of 
there's kind of this cognitive distance where they're flying away from you and you can't quite save them. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.